Hey guys, Twenty Twenty Four here. Um, confession: I went to Honey Fig today. Marlene called me because um, I had told her as soon as the Miracle Donna Marie Miracle Jelly came in, let me know. And I was actually on my way there, and I it was posted on her Facebook page, which I had checked while at work. And then on my way there, she called me and left me a message not knowing that I was fully well on my way and that's the type of service I'm talking about like she she's so sweet like honestly she she told me she'd call me as soon as she got it in and she would save it for me and I was like fine and she you know I wasn't sure I told her I was gonna come today but then I wasn't sure and she said she'd certainly put it aside for me which I did and as soon as I went through the door she's like oh my god I just called you and I said yeah, I got the message, and um, so I went there. But I, um, I of course, had to pick up other things to people. Like, I don't know, when I go in there, I pretty much lose my damn mind. You know, I, I, I buy stuff, and but I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. And this is their brochure for their spa, because I'm going to send my husband there to get some facials. To do with his ingrown issues and they have everything manicures pedicures facials waxing massages body treatments wraps so yeah they they're like full service so anyway um so yeah i got the uh donna marie Mirror pearl pearling jelly so this is it guys um Mirror Curl, cur, Mirror Curl Curling Jelly, Curl Enhancing Gel. That's a mouthful. Okay, and it says this is all natural. This all natural styling gel provides a flexible hold and ringlet curl definition to all curly hair types. Great for wash and go styling and producing quick curls. Enriched with avocado oil, aloe vera juice, and pro vitamin B5 for enhanced moisture and shine. This is an 18 fluid ounce bottle and it cost me $32. I think US it's like 20 bucks, $19 or something. But people, it may sound expensive, but when you factor in shipping, which would be about 10 bucks, yeah, this is about right. I think Marlene is pretty much, I'm sure she probably gets to that cost, but, you know, she's really equating the shipping and everything in total. You're not being gypped or anything. So, yeah, this is it. It's quite a jelly. kind of looks like applesauce, the texture of it. And let me smell it. Um... It kind of smells kind of nutty, but not, not nutty, like nutty fruity, fruit nutty, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so this I'm going to try for my wash and goes and see, because I've never used cur um, Kinky Curly, uh, because, you know, I've heard mixed reviews and it seems like I'd have to really take great pains in trying to make sure that the product like it just seems to be a challenge um, for most people to kind of know the consistency like how much product because if you use too much it's country if it's, and then they're talking about shrinkage which I don't mind but blah 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 I probably just use it for a crystal if it didn't work and another thing I got was this Jesse Curl Wheatley Deep Conditioning Treatment because I am running out of deep conditioners and I've heard rave reviews about this Jesse Curl product this was $22. It's an 8 ounce bottle, but I heard it's really, really, it is actually quite thick. And I heard you don't really need a lot. See, it's, it's a butter, people. Yeah, this is a cocoa butter smell, too. And it says here, use this thick treatment once a week to restore moisture to dry hair. Rich in botanicals and natural butters, Jessica Wheatley Deep Conditioning Treatment will improve and maintain the health of your hair. So I'm looking forward to, to um, using this because I don't mind spending a bit on like deep conditioners because right now I'm just using up my cheapy stuff. Um, 
I finished off this bottle of the Lustre Silk and I'm on the uh, on the, the bottle of hold on people I had bought this when I had my little tragedy happen with my hair and um, so I'm using this up but they're not you know I have to add to them which is fine and nanny but you know I would never repurchase these so I'm gonna try this and see how it goes because it you know I really think that based on the reviews it's good. It has um, water infused with lemongrass, nettle, burdock, kelp, marshmallow root, horsetail, basil, basil, bay leaf, oregano, oregano, rosemary, peppermint, sage, and thyme, and some sulfate thing. No, not bad sulfate, but behentrimonium, methyl sulfate, and cetral alcohol. I don't know if that's good or bad. Shea butter, avocado oil, cocoa butter, lecithin, have olive oil powder and fragrance okay they said to keep the thing capped close uh, keep it closed and do not allow any water to be introduced into the product hold on my phone's ringing so yeah guys I also had to sh uh, switch my memory card anyway so um this uh, I'm looking forward to use as a real deep treatment because it actually says you should keep it in for 30 to 60 minutes so that means this is really deep um, it deeply penetrates um, and I got one more thing oh and it was $22 I don't know if I mentioned it because um, I don't remember some time has passed since the last time I was here and the last thing I got was the um, Owen Handmaid's Burnt Sugar Pomade and this was $20 and I've always I've been looking forward to using this because I need something to kind of substitute like hair oil, hair grease, we call it hair oil in the islands but um, this apparently do, it does well for twist outs too. I've heard about this. Um, it's apparently very moisturizing. If you, so it's a dual purpose product. You can use this for your hair and you can use it for your skin. I know of people who view, who use it for their hands and stuff when it's dry. Uh, lasting non-greasy feeling. It's great on braids. Imparts shine and moisture to lose hair and adds lux, luster. So it's very compact. It's It's like grease so this should last for some time too um, it, it's made from castor oil hydrogenated soybean wax uh, soybean oil soybean oil organic virgin coconut oil mango seed oil olive oil refined hemp seed oil cocoa butter broccoli seed oil and fragrance so this is this is nice looking forward to it so yes guys so these were all with the extra 15% off. 15% off might not seem to be much but it is a big deal to me because at least I'm saving the taxes. Here in Toronto our taxes are 14%. Um, so if I can save something I'm happy. I mean Lord knows I didn't plan to get any of these other things. All I went for this so this is was kind of like an impromptu unplanned thing. So everything came up to um, seventy-one dollars, and the tax brings it back up. So you see the equivalent of the tax. So yeah. So anyway, guys, um, check it out. And just to let you know, guys, um, I heard some people saying, you know, the shipping might be expensive. Remember, guys, we're in Canada. You guys are in the states. Anything cross-border is gonna be shipping is gonna be hefty. And these people don't set the shipping. It's just what it is. It's the same way when we're, you know, unfortunately when we're ordering from the states, we have to be very mindful of the shipping. So, you know, now you kind of know how it feels to always have to order stuff in and having hefty shipping charges being levied on your goods. Um, that's just the reality of cross-border shopping, especially in this day and age where a lot of um, people um, shop on the internet. So you have to weigh that in to the cost. Actually, honey fig had a uh, 
dis dis distributor, like a location, not an open store, but where they would ship from. But when the economy went bad, they had to pull out. So they used to have some, I'm not sure, Marlene might have mentioned where it was, but they had somewhere in the States, like a warehouse where they shipped stuff from. So I know back then it must have been more reasonable for you guys if you were going to order. But because of the downward, you guys, the... In the U.S., the downward economy, they had to pull out. It wasn't um, feasible for them to continue doing that. So they did at one point. So anyway, but don't let that discourage you. Um, some things might be reasonable. I don't know. I, I don't know. But I'm just encouraging anyone within the city to go in there and pick your stuff up. Or I know we have people in Montreal in Vancouver and stuff. I mean, order and, and see what happens. But I am certainly grateful that I can just walk in there and get excellent service one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm good. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. Take care. Bye.